We went to Bethel with very hard hearts, hearts that hadn't been in community for a very long time. From the moment we showed up, we have felt like that was our home, that that's where God intended us to be. We were never the new kids there. We were always just wanted and welcomed within that church. And it's cool to show up to a place that feels like you've been going there for 10 years when you're the new one. There's a lot of history in the church. Originally, it was Community Bible Church, started in the 40s in a Granger Hall at the particular site that it's at now. It's been there since 1953, and uh, people loved having that church there. So I think it takes a certain amount of, uh, of humility to realize, even though we were very healthy at our church, we were just kind of stuck. One of our elders was at a basketball game in Crown Point, Bob McCray, and he got talking to one of the staff members from Bethel Crown Point, and they said they were going to be looking at doing something different at their church instead of expanding. They were planning on going ahead and reaching out in different areas of Indiana, Northwest Indiana anyway. And uh, they started talking, maybe we could do something together. I believe it was a Saturday morning at 12 Islands, downtown Crown Point, a few leaders from the Cedar Lake Church and a few leaders from, from Bethel Church. We got together, we had breakfast, and we um, sh shared our hearts and shared kind of where we're at and our ministries are at. And there was a napkin on the table that I took and with a pen, I, I said, if you wanna know what we're about, that's what we're about. We wanted to be a church of outward arrows. We did not want to be a church of inward arrows of or of inwardness, self-orientation. We wanted to be others-oriented, community-oriented, giving of ourselves, going, and sharing, loving, spreading uh, the gospel. So talking about the, the merger, that's, that's an interesting thing because not everybody's going to be happy with uh, merging one church with another. And I remember uh, somebody coming to uh, one of our people that we had on staff, uh, Lori Mullima. People would come up and say, well, I, I don't know if I want our church to get any bigger. I like the church just the way it is. And Lori said to that lady that told her that, she said, I'm sure glad we had room for you when you came. It's a humbling uh, feeling as well, realizing that maybe you could do better together than being apart. And so that was the mindset that we had among our elders. And uh, thankfully, we decided to go forward, took a vote in the middle of July, 10 years ago, and we had a, an approval, a uh, majority anyway, to go ahead and merge with Bethel. I really wanted to emphasize three areas, prayer, relational, meaning relational connecting, and then missional, especially local outreach. We've really been vision casting that uh, every week since, since the beginning, and uh, it was really cool to see the church just rally around that and grab a hold of that vision and get excited uh, about prayerful, relational, missional, and and we've seen progress in e literally each of those three areas. So uh, I've seen more prayerfulness, uh, the relational component. I've, I've had several people say, man, it, it just feels like we're a family, like we're really growing as a family. We hadn't even been going there for six months, I think, and our whole family got COVID. I was 38 weeks pregnant and we were, I mean, we were miserably sick. And within 12 hours of me telling someone that we had COVID, they had a, a meal train set up and every single day people just showed up to love on us and they didn't even know us. It didn't matter who we were. They, you were part of the body of Christ and therefore we're going to love you. I feel like I'm standing on the shoulders of giants who have gone before us. This place is different. This place cares about people. It really shaped into a, a wonderful facility to, to have a church. It is a family to us in the best possible way. 10 years is just the beginning. What I really like is being able to sit towards the second or third row of our church on a Sunday all the way over to the edge and just turn around when people are singing and praising the Lord and realizing that uh, things are fruitful, things are going forward. 
I know I haven't been around for all 10 of those years, obviously, because we are newer to the church, but we are members now and we plan to be around 10 years from now. And so I'm excited to come back here in 10 years on the 20th anniversary and say, look at all that God has continued to do.